Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm going to show you how to jailbreak iOS 5 Beta 4. Now this is using the new Red Snow. First step you're going to need to do is go to this post, link in the description. It has the downloads and also instructions if you get confused anywhere. Now first off, uh, the what you need part. You're going to need iOS 5 Beta 4 for your device. Now your device, um, you have to be a developer to get this. Obviously don't do this if you're not a developer and get it legitly if you want to sign up for a de developer or wait for iOS 5 to come out um, to the public. Second of all, you're going to need Red Snow 0.9.8 B4 and or Beta 4 and you can get it for both the PC and the Mac. Now upgrade to um, iOS 5 Beta 4 and you'll be ready to start. Um, and then open up the Red Snow. All you have to do is click this to download it and then open it up. Open it up for your computer. I'm on a Mac. I did the Mac version. Now also note that this is tethered so every time you turn your device off you're going to have to go through some uh, Red Snow stages again. So make sure you save Red Snow. So on the first step you're going to hit browse. You're not going to need the iPod for a while. And find the firmware file that you restore to to get to iOS 5 hit open and Red Snow will process the firmware. Once you do that, just going to hit next and then we'll patch the kernel. This just takes a few seconds. And then you're going to hit install Cydia followed by next and then you're going to get to this screen. Now the next screen will show you how to get into DFU mode. If you don't know, I'll be doing it right now. So you have this home button and the home button and power button and you're going to be holding them both for like 11 seconds so I'll be doing that now 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and then after that you're going to let go of the top button and uh, hold the home button and wait for it to be into DFU mode now if you hit next it will show you the steps or it will immediately start the jailbreak if you're in DFU mode and all you have to do is um, what I said. I think I was accounting a little fast, but if you just wait a little longer, nothing will go bad. Now you see on the device, it'll reboot and then jailbreak. Once this is done, you're not actually done. You're going to need to boot it tethered. And this is what you're going to need to repeat to do whenever your device turns off. So there we go. Rest takes off, takes off, uh, goes on on the device. And you'll see that I have, uh, it's going right now be like a minute or so you can just hit finish and then just open Red Snow one more time now once that runs for a few minutes your device will reboot up and you'll see Cydia now you see it is a white icon and will not open and that is good because what you're going to need to do is rerun Red Snow and go through the first step exactly the same choosing the same firmware you might want to take it out of the a DMG so you can use it for later use. Now uh, hit next and wait for this to load. Just take a little bit and note that what we're doing right now you'll have to do every time your device turns off. This is because it's tethered and an untethered version will probably not come out until the release of iOS 5. So keep in mind this is what you're going to need to do every time your device turns off or your jailbreak uh, uh, additions will not work. So now instead of in hitting install Cydia, you're going to hit just boot tethered now. Hit next and you're going to go through the following screen. Now the next uh, thing will show how to get into DFU mode. I'll just click that for you and start. So get ready, hold, release, and in a few seconds it will finish up tether booting and you'll have your jailbroken device to um, enjoy so just wait for that and you can let go right now see it's not really doing anything on the device waiting for the reboot basically reboots and then when your device reboots with this pineapple it will work with all the jailbroken stuff everything else is done with the computer now I'll just hit finish right here wait like 30 seconds for this to boot up and then I'll show you that Cydia works properly so when that's done, you just slide to unlock, you tap on City, and notice that it opens completely. Now, if for any case your device turns off, just do the second part of Red Snow in which you boot it tethered, and you should be fine. That's pretty much it. You've successfully jailbroken. Thanks for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe to help us out, and I'll see you guys later.